morning. It's about half past seven on Saturday the 11th of February 2023. Um, I'm just about to set off for today's trip to Rochdale, which involves a drive up to Nottingham to get the train. And then I think we're going Nottingham to Leeds, Leeds to Rochdale, and then to walk to the ground and then come back via Manchester and back to Nottingham and then drive back. We'll see how today goes. Greetings from the car park at Nottingham. Um, let's just check the time. It's just come up to five to nine. I've just got into the car park. Um, I got stuck in the bloody car park at um, McDonald's. Well, I've now got down to level one. I'm on the wrong level. <laughs> I'm on level three. I'm going to go down to level two. Right, yeah, so at least I'm at, this car, I'm at the car park, so it's just a matter of uh, going down and meeting Graham now. So, hopefully he's here. I didn't. I drove.
got an A52 at Brantford. Sorry. Yeah, but you've been No. Yeah, I thought it was much. Surprised the way from the four seater. station of a packed train. Just gotta wait for Graham now wherever he is. Go wait for Graham wherever he is. The 42 to, 42 to Chester, that's the one we want. By Halifax, 9B. Then 42 to Halifax. into the ground. This should be fun.
The walk from the ground, straight into the ground. Fair enough. Just there. Yeah, You're recovering. I don't think I bloody fail. Right, some chips then, mate. Yeah. Greetings from the ground. <laughs> There's the chippy. Just there. Is there a way in? Oh, there you go. Ground. Chippy. And then they walk back into town. Cop the phone's waiting to go in. Oh, go on. Said that Megan's gonna yeah. play in the next year. Yeah. Before the hordes get across there. Quick, quick. Go find the ticket. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Do you want to do the uh, pat down or whatever? I'm right trusty. Yes, yeah, wallet. There you go. It's in deep pockets. There you go. Yeah. Ooh. 
through. Yeah. Go on then, Gray. Where are we going? We're going to tell it. Where are we going then? Oh, okay. Okay. Did you get out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Where are we going then, Grace? Oh, and across. Oh, yeah. Top. Not the top one, On the back row, on the end, that'll do me. God, he's bloody stunner. What's that mean? I'm going to stand up anyway. So that's right on the back row. Where is he now? Who? Tim with Toddler. Toddler Tim. Down there later. That's just my camera. Yeah.
by placing their ball dot UK. We now ask fans of both clubs to unite and remember those impacted by this week's events through a period of silence which will begin at the end of the referee's whistle.
Gracie Field statue. Yeah. Gracie Fields. There's the Sainsbury's on the corner. Yes. So we turn right here and almost immediately left up a ramp and and uh, that is Oxford Road. It's up there. 
So what's now? 27 minutes past. Gobshite again. Huh? That woman down down there in the fucking black black burger on. Just give me a load of mouthful last time I was there. What did you say? There's a black woman down there in the burger. Just give me a gobful last time I was down there. You can't take food, you can't take food as a mate. I said I'm fucking walking in front of me then. Simple equation. Manchester Road, waiting for the 1839 back to Nottingham. <laughs> and Graham is knackered. Oh, I've exercised him today. So, yeah, waiting for the 1839, which should come in. He says, checking his watch. About six minutes. Go, go, Graham. Oh, keep going, keep going. Oh, Alright, now on the 1839, back to Nottingham. Hooray! No more trains. One knackered Graham. I'm one, I'm one knackered Graham. <laughs> Finally back at Nottingham. That's the end of the trains for the day. <sighs> right. That was fun. Stuck on the last bit with a load of fucking piss heads from uh, Chesterfield to Nottingham. But there you go. We're back. Have to wait for Graham now. And I can drive home. <sighs> Long day. But I've got a sore fucking head. Last little bit, I've got to walk back to uh, level three of the train thing. Of level, yeah, level, got to walk back to level three, get my car out. If I can buy the car park paying thing, we'll be laughing. And there's the train station. Good morning. It's about half past ten on Sunday, the twelfth of February, twenty twenty-three. I'm recording this the day after this 
the trip to uh, Rossdale because by the time I got home, I had a stinking headache and I just wanted to get the bed. So, yeah. Uh, I made a bit of a late start because um, we had a power cut here at home and everything went off. So, luckily enough, there was a mighty clunk when everything come back on just after half past seven. You know, I was hoping to have left mine by seven o'clock, but uh, I didn't leave till just gone at half past seven. And I'd arranged to meet Graham at Nottingham Station at half past eight. So I'd send him a text saying I'm running late. And managed to crawl up the A1 and down the 52 behind some tractor, which is just my luck. And then managed to grab me a McDonald's breakfast quick and I got in Nottingham Station about 10 to 9, I think it was. And mooched out on the platform, met him on platform 1A for our first train, which was the 917 to Leeds. <laughs> Had the usual argument with him. Well, what platform do we want to be on? Because the 917 goes in platform 6 and platform 1. I went, you want the one on platform 1? I said, I'll see you on platform one in a minute. I'm literally just coming through the ticket barrier now. So, yeah. So we're on platform one. Train rolls in. Everyone's waiting there. All of a sudden, these people just barge in the front, jump in the nice comfy seats, and I'm crammed into a bloody seat for an hour and a half. Sitting size hard because I can't fit between the, the seat, two seats. So that mooches off. And uh, I don't know if it's a thing with Northern Trains, but because we were on three of them, you know, they all ran to time. But they always seem to announce the last stop but one really, really loud. So, for example, our train up to Leeds, it called at places like Sheffield, you know, Meadow Hall, Barnsley, like that. And when it read the, the station out, it went, we we're calling it Sheffield, Meadow Hall, Barnsley, Wakefield Westgate. And Leeds. I thought, oh, that's weird. Perhaps it's just to wake people up, I don't know. But anyway, got into Leeds, fine and dandy. Went in the loo, so shot into the toilets on the platform there and mooched back, checked with town, um, or what platform our train was going to go from. I think it was platform 9A, so Graham's mooching along as usual. I went, yeah, well, platform 9A is what we want. So get onto 9A and trains on the platform. No driver, no guard, everything's locked up. And there's people there waiting, thinking, well, we'll be all right. This is a four car thing, so fine, Andy. And then driver turns up, starts everything up, doors open. We get on, sit in the front, sitting facing the travel direction. Train pulls into Bradford Interchange, reverses, goes back out. Heads down to Rochdale. All the way down to Rochdale, Graham's going, you sure you know the route? Yes, I know the route, Graham. I know two different ways of getting there. Don't worry. So, train pulls into Rochdale. We get off. Graham's mooting around. I said, don't forget, you have your ticket ready for the barrier. Oh, yeah, I'll get it ready. Yeah, boom, boom. So, I'm straight down with my phone. Bip, straight on the scanner. Out. So, you literally come out of the front of the Rochdale train station, follow the tram tracks up, and then you can either go up towards the town centre or we did a left down, I think it's Drake Street or something, and you follow that down to the A58, I think it is, turn right, and as you go down the hill, if you look to your left, you'll see um, a big Asda, and that's where you want to go, across there. So, going across there, and Graham's going, are you sure we're going the right way? Yes, Graham. So you go past the Asda, turn right, follow the road up, and you come up to, I think it's two mini roundabouts. You go straight over the first one and then left at the second one. And you go up past a church. There's a church on the left-hand side. And just after you pass the church, there's another turn. I think it's Wilbert's Lane or something like that. You walk up that and then the grounds up there. All that the walk grounds around. Well, there's a nice fish and chip shop around here. Where is it? I says, well, look, we're still on the corner of the ground. The fish and chip shop is dead opposite the away end. I said, it's just over there across the road. Oh, all right then. Uh, should, should we go and get our tickets then? I went, yeah, let's go and get our tickets then. Walked up that way. And the ticket office is, is the other end from the way end. So we walked down there, picked the tickets up, and he sees a couple standing there with some chips. Oh, man, it's a chip shop. But it's round there, isn't it? I went, no, it's back that way. 
was the way end. No, 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 we've got to walk around this way. No, you walk that way, Graham. I walk this way. I don't know where it is. I saw it. So back, we walked back the way we went. Graham's chunching away under his breath. And, you know, like I showed in the video, it's literally dead opposite the way end. So we walked in there, got some chips, and I got a drink. And Graham's moaning because he's got a big portion of chips and he can't eat it all. And I thought, whatever. So... Then we sat there outside the shop waiting for the ground to open about two o'clock. Ground opens, you know, walk across the road. Quick bag search, yeah, thank you very much. Bang straight in. Where are we going, Graham? Well, well, we'll go up the back there. I says, you know what's going to happen, Graham? Every time we go to the back, we're going to get, we get run over. We get all the little chabs running at the last bloody minute, like they always do. Oh, they won't do it this time. Stood there. As usual, five minutes before kickoff, everyone comes rushing in, barging us out of the way. Oh, we want to stand there. No, fuck off. Excuse my French. <laughs> out of the way. But no, no, no. Even the stewards are telling, no, go down there. No, we want to go in here. So I'm getting, now being shoved three seats to the right, which now puts me out in the middle of the aisle. And I'm thinking, that's great. And then the stewards go, no, 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 no. You were in there, mate. I said, yeah, well, go and tell them not to move out. Oh, well, we were here first. We were here first. No, you weren't. The steward says, dragging them out. They walk back down, muttering under their breath, and going to sit further down the bloody the stand. So, yeah. And then the game kicked off. Oh, God. We were shocking first half. I don't know what they were bloody playing at. But, you know, get to half time. I thought, well, I'll nip down for a pee. So, walk down the stairs back up again after having a pee come back to the top literally two minutes before kick off these lads were back bars their way back in of course the steward's now gone I'm now standing in the middle of the bloody aisle these lads we were here first blah 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 elbow elbow I thought oh Christ so two minutes after the start Rochdale go and score now bear in mind Rochdale are rock bottom of the league haven't won in five games I think it was and you know, they're on to hiding for nothing. And they've played a lot better than us. And they go and score. And we're still there thinking, well, can't the Bra can't Bray John Bray, the manager, see it? What's going wrong with this team? No. They carried on and then I think they made a couple of substitutions about sixty minutes. We're all going absolutely ballistic. Well, change something because it's not the system's not working. So yeah, if we make some changes, bang, bang, bang. Two minutes before the end of the game. Ball falls to Ben Fox. He hits it. Bang. It sails into the back of the net. Full pelt. It wasn't until their players got the ball out of the back of the net that we started celebrating because we thought it had gone wide. We ain't got a clue. So we had all muted celebrations, blah, 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 blah. And then we had a chance to go 2-1 up. But the keeper saved it. So by this time, all these lads are now fighting between themselves and they're a couple of people in front of us bought this bottle of bloody strong vodka in. They were swinging for that most of the game. I mean, this stuff was strong stuff because I was two rows behind them and I could smell it. So, yeah. So, game finishes. Graham's muttering under his breath as he always does. Oh, is it the one walk back? Yeah, whatever. So, we walk back. And if you walk back, there's um, an Asda. So we popped in the Asda to go and get something to eat and drink for the trip back. So, done that. Walked in there. Graham's moaning because he's in and out quick. I got stuck at the the, the, the payment tills because um, I had some bloody kid get sitting on my sitting on the bloody um, well you put the thing through the self self service till. It's weighted, isn't it? So his weight was tripping the thing out. So the bloke had to come and reset it. The bloke had a word with his pair this woman just don't you tell my son off i says look he says all i'm asking him to do is not to sit on that so this gentleman can get through and get out don't you tell my son that blah, blah, blah. so she's like on the toss with him and holding him up i thought oh great it took me 10 minutes so we had about 20 minutes from there back to the train station and graham was struggling and i was struggling a bit and we literally our system as we got to as we got near the train station, I said to him, get your ticket ready because this is gonna be tight. Oh whatever. So I literally, like on the way out, I got my ticket up on my phone, bang, straight on the scanner, upstairs. I looked back, I looked in 
Well, I thought, can't see the train yet, where is it? Looked on the board, it was running about a minute late. I thought, well, where's Graham? I looked down the stairs, I could see him stood there, just looking at his phone. I went, Graham, the train's coming in, we need to catch this. Oh, all right, all right. And he's flicking through his phone, and boop, on the scanner. And then he's just slow walk up the stairs. I went, it's not going to wait for us, Graham. It's literally just come in. And we walked through, got on the train, and literally, as he walked on the train, the doors went, beep, 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 and shut, we pulled off. And then he's moaning, oh, if we'd have missed the train, how uh, would you have got home? I said, I'm all right, Graham. I said, I can just get a train back either to Leeds or go back to Manchester and then into back to Nottingham. I said, I, because I, I drove from Peterborough to Nottingham. So I can just get a, get a, just drive any train back to Nottingham and drive back. I said, you have got to get back to Nottingham before before I pass nine to get your last train back to Wellingborough. Oh, you'll have to drive me home. I went, I'm not bloody driving you home if you want to faff about. So anyway, got back into Manchester, Victoria. And then uh, the, he, he was moaning and groaning about, oh, well, it's always walking, it's not doing me any good. So we'll get a tram then. When's the next tram? 15 minutes. I said, so how long have we got to get across Manchester? For, well, could we decide to walk from Manchester, Victoria to Manchester off the road? So, fine. He asked if we've got 20 minutes. Uh, and I said, it's about a 10 minute walk. It's fine. So he's grumbling all the way across there. So we started walking. And then I said, he says, you know where you're going? He says, yeah, get to St. Peter's Square. I said, you walk back towards the, the corner of the road. He says, and there's a theatre on the right hand side. And just after that is a, is a Sainsbury's. You get past the Sainsbury's, you turn right and do almost an immediate left, go up a ramp and Manchester Oxford Road is there. Are you sure? Yes, Graham, I've done this hundreds of times. So, we start walking and he's stopping looking at the scenery. Oh, I haven't been seeing all this. I said, look, Graham, we haven't got time for this. We need to get this train. Oh, well, we can get the next one. I said, yeah, I can get the next one. You can't. You've got to get back to Nottingham to get your last train back. Oh, but you can drive me back. I went, no, Graham. I mean, I'm starting to get, I was starting to get a headache at the time. So, whatever. So, get back to Manchester Oxford Road. The, t the ticket office, the ticket machines were playing up, so they had to they were sending people through the side door. So, I walked up to the gate, showed the bloke my ticket, says, oh yeah, you want to get the Nottingham train? He says, yeah. So it's platform three in about 10 minutes. Graham's mooching up there. Oh, oh. He's about to see your ticket. Oh, 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 oh. Flicking through his phone. Oh, oh, oh it's on here somewhere. Blah, blah, blah. So... I thought, oh, sorry, I'll walk through onto the platform. And then Graham moved to, oh, you could have waited for me, sitting on the bench, he's sitting on the bench moaning about it. And then we got on the, we got on the train back to Nottingham, fine, dandy. Well, why didn't we go into Manchester Piccadilly? He says, as soon as we pull out of Manchester off the road. I said, you'll see. Train pulled into Manchester Piccadilly, and I kid you not, there must have been about 150 people on the platform waiting for this train. They piled on, and as they piled on, I pointed out to Graham and said, look, that's why we didn't go to Manchester Piccadilly. He says, we're in a seat. We're bloody lucky. The people piled on, oh, we want a seat, we want a seat. Mooch, 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 mooch. Moaning because there was four, four people wanted a seat, and there was two seats next to me and Graham. Oh, you'll have to move. No, two of you sit there, two of you sit further down the train, simple as. No, you move, you get out of the seat. No, bugger off. So, carried on, fine. Got to Sheffield, and I'm thinking, I've got my drinks, I've got my bottle of drink out, because, um, well, that's from, that, from the stop at Asda. I was starting to get a headache, and I thought, well, I ain't got anybody headache for me. I'm just hoping if I drink some fluid, it will help. And then, <laughs> we left Sheffield, Heading back down to us, not and we stopped at Chesterfield. That's when a load of bloody uh, pissed young Notts County fans got on. They're all singing and dancing, chuntering away. I'm thinking, oh, I don't need this. I'm, my head's getting worse. And then Graham started grumble, uh, grumble, 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 grumble at them. I thought, I'll just leave it, Graham. I'm just, I'm sat there when we had him in, thinking, oh, I just want to get back tonight, and I want to get home. So. 
Moochie, we get back into night in the train station. These lads are just sat there talking. And I said, look, any chance of us getting out of here, lads, because I don't want to end up going further than I have to. Oh, we'll wait till the train gets in the station. I said, it is in the station. Is it? Oh, all right then. So they moved off out. Graham's part asking about trying to get off. I said, well, get off, Graham. So you're going to end up going to bloody Nor Norwich. Oh, oh, we're at night in them. Yes, Graham. So, plod down the platform. I says, well, what are you going to do? He says, well, I might get the 8.50 train, because I think we got into Nottingham at half past eight. He says, I might get the 8.50, but I've got a change at Kettering. Like, yeah. He says, or I can get the ninth, the 21.36, I think it was, which is direct. I says, well, that's your choice, Graham. I says, well, well what train are you getting? He says, I'm not getting a train, Graham. I've just got off a train that's going back to Peterborough. If I was on a train, I'd have stayed on that train. I drove here. Oh, yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah. So I left. I said, you saw what train you're going up from. I says, one goes from platform six, one goes from platform seven. They're down there. I says, I'll walk you down there. says, because the ticket office is right at the end. Platform, five, platform six and seven, down there, Graham. I said, I'm turning right, I'm going home. See you tomorrow, which is now today. So I mooched off, got in the car, and drove back home, and I was halfway down the A1, and my head was just going, thump, 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 thinking, am I going to, am I going to make uh, the Morrison's at Stanford, you're going to get some eight bills, I'm going to have to boot it and get home. So, got down the A1, so finally got home about 20 past 10, and just as, just as I literally walked into my front door, message from Graham, Oh, I got the earlier train. They've cancelled the connecting train at Kettering. Oh, I'm going to have to wait for the first train, the, the train I should have, the later train now. Oh, oh, I have to phone my daughter up. I went, not my problem, Graham. Wait for the second train and get on that. Oh, oh, well, what are you doing? I said, I'm at home. Oh, it's all right for you. Yeah, whatever. So... And so I literally then just climbed into bed and that was it. And I've decided to do the blog this morning. There you go. Right, summing up. When's the next game? Um, I don't know if I'm going to do Colchester at the end of this month. Because I did Colchester last year. And first, let's remember that blog. I got stuck on the... Uh, a120, I think it was, near Stansted Airport for nearly an hour and a half after a crash. Uh, the next one after that is Doncaster Away, which is at the end of March. And that's a debatable one because I can either drive to that and park in the uh, park and ride, which is just around the corner from the ground, or I can get the train and walk again, like I did when I went to watch the Lionesses play on a Tuesday night. Which unfortunately mean I missed the last goal they scored in the twenty against Latvia because I had to get back to get me train back home. But there you go. We shall see. I'm going to sign off because I will go and get a coffee and then head off to uh, Fakenham to meet up with Graham and another grumble. Bye bye. <laughs>